Hi everybody, welcome back to Rachel and Bella Craft. Rachel here. I hope you're all well on this lovely wet rainy day that we've got in Wales. So today I thought we would have a go at Roxy's weekly challenge and this week she made this cute little booklet um, that you could use for happy mail or pen pal mail I think she, she used it from that or the lady that she was inspired by uh, runs a pen pal channel. So I've done a quick prototype because I just wanted to try out more than anything my inks. Um, but this is what we'll be making. So it's a cute little uh, ephemera holder is what it is. Sorry, not a notebook book. It's an ephemera holder. But, I mean, you know, it may grow from there. So we'll see what we can do this afternoon. But that's my prototype. Um, you may need some vellum. If you don't have vellum, you can do this with book pages or any pages. We're just basically making a pocket. Um, but it's just an idea of how um, we can present that. So... I'm going to show you first of all how she did it with the vellum. Um, so she's taken a piece of vellum. We have taken a section of it away. So that was the full size basically. Um, and we've taken probably a third of it away. Um, we're going to just simply fold the bottom up to create an inside pocket. And then we'll just flatten that down. And then we will just fold it in half like so super duper easy to put together. Now Rachel used staples to um, hold her pockets together. Um, I don't have the staples that she was using. I tried it with my own staples earlier on and found it a little bit bulky so I took them out. Um, so I'm going to just simply close mine up with washi tape um, because Rachel did make a very good point in that um, sticking vellum with glue it can be a messy um, process. Uh, the glue doesn't always stick as it should and the vellum sometimes becomes wet and when vellum gets wet it goes crinkly. So I just think that washi tape is a good alternative. So I'm going to give that a go today and we'll see how we get on with that. Plus you've got a little bit of a design and element to it in which you can use some funky washies and make it look super cool or pretty it up or whatever. So there we go. Right, let me just put that out. A little snippet off the end. Lovely job. So there we are. How simple is that? So now we've got little tuck spots in there for you to pop your ephemera in. Now, um, what she then did was to basically collage on the front. I'm just going to pop my other lamp on a minute. This has gone really dark outside. There we go. Um, so what I've done is I've been over to my embossing machine. Finally found it again under all the stuff. Um, and I've taken a couple of um, pages these are from my spring kit, I think. And I've just embossed them with like a script embosser um, folder. This one here I've used. I did buy it from AliExpress. It took about three weeks to come, I think. But it was like, I don't know, two pound. Silly money. Um, and it's got a lovely script inside there. So yeah, that's where I've gotten that from. And that's what this is here. Um, so what I thought I would do is put... Um, a section across the bottom here of this because I thought it had a nice bit of texture um, to what we're doing and I liked as well obviously on this particular page I'm using I've got the kind of two-tone thing going on there as well so let's just try I don't think it'll tear because I find sometimes trying to tear embossing paper embossed paper rather it does leave it a bit raggedy so I may end up just cutting it um, right, let's just trim down that edge there it is going to be a bit funny otherwise funny ha ha no not funny ha ha um let me just take that edge off here. <laughs> it'll just sit a bit strangely otherwise yeah take the scraggy bits off you can still have it look a bit torn but just not with the scraggy bits sticking up because they get quite white then don't they so we'll stick that by there um now you can add a little bit of book page as well if you want something you know a little bit um, you know, to have that differentiation. I oh, can't use that side because it's not got a book page on the back. Um, so, you know, you could pop. I think maybe I might or maybe I won't. No, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to bring a little, I'm going to add a little bit of washi there because I cut that short. My bad. But there we are. We make these mistakes. Um, which one did I use? This one. Oh, let's try this one. I like this one. This one is more the colour of my page I'm using. Now, this one is came in a five pack from the works, which is, you know, a um, stationery shop here in the UK, which, <laughs> alas, they are closing in my local town. I'm so upset. It's like the only place we can get 
um, like paper craft products. And I mean, the supply there is, is quite limited as it is, but um, it is the only place in my local big town. And it's closing. I feel almost as sad as I did when they closed Tiger. Because <laughs> we love that place too. I don't know. Are we unique? Are we the only people around here that like stationery? I don't think so. There we go. Right, so that'll go on there. Then, um, Rachel did some stamping on hers. Now, what I wanted to try on the one I tried earlier on, I hope you can see it. I wanted to try my new archival ink, my brilliant white, brilliant moonlight white, rather. Um, so I had a go, and then I was brushing something off the vellum and it all came off on my hand so then I just wiped it off and did it again but I'm waiting to see if it will dry because I got a funny feeling that it isn't going to because I did that about 20 minutes ago oh I don't know mine actually because I've already smudged it you see I think it has actually dried oh there we go okay okay oh no that bit hasn't so obviously just got to be left a long time. Still, see, it's still wet, look. But I just thought you looked quite cool. So we'll go with the black for now um, because we know the black will dry and we won't have uh, smudges. So let's have a little look, see what stamps we've got here. Um, well, I've got, I don't have many scripted uh, stamps. I do have this large one here. Um, I've somewhere got most annoyingly a nice musical note one but i can't put my hand on it so there we are craft room tidy up is still in process um but this is quite large so i'm not going to want to put the whole thing on so i may just go with the lower section there but i'm going to try and do as much as i can before i um I'm stick this on before i ink because once you put ink on it, it i don't know how long it'll take for it to dry you see i don't really want that all over my hands again thankfully the first lot was white <laughs> I was like, oh dear, I just smudged the whole thing. But interestingly enough, I did grab a piece of hessian rag that I had in my scraps bin beside of me and it did wipe the whole lot off. So if you're quick and you do make a mistake, just literally wipe it all off and have another go. There we go. I like that one there. Right, okay. So if I just ink the bottom section, which should be enough. There we go. And then if we pop that, well, I don't really want it there because I'm going to be doing my bow there. So let's put it this side, I think. Stamp that down. Jack. Ooh, ooh, that looks nice. Could have done it going a little higher, but okay, lesson learned. Right, lid on the ink. Now, next step, of course, is to put something on the front. Now, I did use a bird with the last one, because I had those lovely birds. Isn't it um, hysterical after that conversation I had with Bella about nobody uses birds? Why would anybody want birds? Blah, blah, blah. It wasn't quite that confident, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I've now used mine twice. <laughs> well, you know why I've used them, don't you? Because mum's fussy cut them for me. <laughs> Perhaps that's why I don't like using birds. And these birds are particularly lovely, I feel. But, um, yeah, they're out of our spring kit as well. But we've also got these lovely, lovely flowers. But Mother has also very kindly fussy cut for me. And, oh, that's rather lovely, isn't it? I wonder if the background's a bit high for that one. Perhaps I need a bigger one. Let's try this one. Go stray. Oh, that's quite nice too. Yes, that is rather lovely. I think I'll pop that on there. Okay, and then we'll um, do something a little different then with the next one. Butterflies, I need to get fussy cut next. Because we're at that time now, aren't we? We're ready for them. I did have some a while back now in um, in a, a little fold. I would imagine Mum had done them for me. Um, I just don't know where they've gone. I may have used them, mine. This was a little while ago. This is like 18 months ago, I think. There we are. That sticks on there nicely. And... Um, that is instantly dry on there, that ink. So, you know, fair is fair. As much as the moonlight shines nice, I don't really want to risk smudging everything. What have I done with my... Right, so we need this next. And let's just pop that in there. Now, I do feel the last one I did, I could have 
put them a little further apart, I think, the holes. So that, this time I'm going to do that. I'm going to come down a bit lower. So let's go there, maybe. That's it. And then we want a little bit of baleen twine, I nearly said then. Gosh, that's took me back. No, not baleen twine. I'm not collecting the hay today, right? What have we got here? Um, perhaps we'll use this. I did have a pink one. I've tidied it away, I think. Oh, I've actually got some... Oh, I've got in there. Real twine. Attached to a tag. Oh, bitch, honestly. I've taken that off earlier. Okay, here we go. Oh, marvellous. Um, let's thread him through so we can see how much we need. I'm going to stick with the other stuff. Okay, so now we're going to use some bigger twine. So I'll get my, I've got some brown stuff here, nice and neutral. Let's thread him through so we can see how much we're going to need. There we go. Oh, don't you just hate it when that happens? Come on. I have actually been ready to do this video for the last hour, but alas, Rosie's been outside performing. So I, <laughs> either I'm not even gonna try. I just waited. Yes, let me just cut the end off that a minute. She's a star, she really is. She was louder today than she was the other day. I've been out to her twice, Mick Rose, please just settle down. It won't be long. You can almost hear her saying, but I'm missing the fun. Silly doggo. So silly. I bet our neighbours love us. I really don't think. Thankfully, <laughs> I say thankfully, because there isn't, I know there's nothing worse than dogs making noise, but thankfully they do have um, their son and daughter-in-law's dog over very regularly, um, who is a little dash hound. And the whole time that the dog is here, most of the day usually, because they, I think they have it while they're in work, it's just in the back garden yapping. So... I always think to myself, oh, thank goodness for that. Because then I don't just feel like it's our dog making a noise. <laughs> Whereas most people be thinking, no, I'm a blinking dog. I'm just thinking, no, it's not just us. Good. Right. There we go. Marvellous. Perhaps that's why they look after the dog. <laughs> that just occurred to me. Perhaps it's revenge. Oh, dear me. There we go. Right. Lovely job. I really like that. Pop your little bits of ephemera in there. Right, let's do something a little bit different now. So what I've done is I have um, printed on some vellum from our lovely, beautiful pocket kit. And I thought we would give these a try. So let's try this one first. Again, let's fold up our... I actually like the back. When you print on vellum, I like the back bit rather than... Do you know what I mean? It's quite nice, isn't it? But there we are. Right, anyway, let's fold this up here. Food, and then fold it in half, and fold, oops, and then where is the, yes, that's what I want, let's have some of this on the end, because that's just like super, super quick, and does the job nicely, and it just adds some interest to the page. There we go, that's that side folded down, and then this side, pop that in there like that, and that in there like that. Bernadette, I was fascinated to read your comment just now, I was sat in Tesla's car park with my son, he nipped in to get something, and um, I thought I'll just quickly check the comments, I couldn't reply because I had no proper signal there, but um, Bernadette has recommended hot yoga for my knees. So I have had a quick Google. I haven't had an in-depth Google, but a quick Google, and it does look rather fascinating. I don't think I'm anywhere near fit enough to um, do it easily, but I did actually used to do yoga some years back. Um, and why did I stop? 
you know, work got in the way, I think, because I used to get up quite early and do it. Oh, I know why I stopped. <laughs> yeah, stupid reason. Uh, down with dog, I was getting nausea, and I, the once, um, some of the medication I take makes me feel a bit sick, and the once we were away on holiday, and I was doing my yoga first thing in the morning, having a bit of a stretch. I think we'd gone to, like, a theme park or something, and, um... I'd been on like loads of rides the day before because I love a roller coaster. Absolutely. I mean, Thought Park is just like, oh, I love it. Um, and I'd been on obviously loads of roller coasters the day before. My ears must have been swimming a bit. And of course, I was there doing uh, my yoga. I did my downward dog. And of course, all of the rush to my head. And I had vertigo for about a week after that and really bad, like nausea. Um, so I haven't, I haven't really bothered since because um, it put me off a bit then. And, you know, a couple of times after I tried, I did it, I tried and found the same thing again. And it was just making me feel really sicky. So, but I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to give it a go and see, um, see if it'll uh, be any better this time. Oh, I've had so much fun filling these ephemera folders. Um, after Mum did all my fussy cutting for me, I have now got all the bits and pieces I need in here. Um, I'm just looking for something in particular to go on the front of here. Ooh, that thing might be quite interesting. I'm sure I've got a smaller one, but that might be... Yeah, let's use that. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. Right, um... Because I'm just trying to combine my themes, as you know. Uh, oh, she's rather lovely. Perhaps we'll have her. And I'm thinking maybe we use one of the fussy cut flowers then. Where did they go? They were here, weren't they? Yeah, I need to get some more of these done. Cause these are ideal. Perhaps we'll have not too good. Right, okay. Let's move that out of the way a minute. And let's move that one out of the way a minute. What else have I got in there? Ooh, that might be quite cool. Let's try that. Right, okay. So I'm going to do another one in a second. So I've got um, them to work on side by side. So there we go. And then folding down. Excellent. Right. Okay, sorry about that. So I did have some paper folded ready. I, I must have measured off the other one because the first one I did was much bigger than this one. Um, but I want to do a specific fold to go inside. So I'm just going to um, double check my height a second. I'll show you how I did this one page. So I'm just going to, I've got the piece of paper here. Look, so I'm just kind of marking my height. Well, I should guess I should gauge it off that. Because we're going to fold our main piece up like that. Okay. And then I need to create the size. So let's kind of go with that there. And we'll see how far we get. But what I kind of did on the other one was to kind of then fold it back because I wanted to make a flippy out page, if that makes sense. But unfortunately now I'm going to have it, it's going to be too long. So maybe I'll just fold it back on itself and we'll see how that goes. And if it's too bulky, I will just have to cut it off. Which would be a bit of a shame, but there we are. I'm just trying to utilise the whole piece of paper, really. There's nothing worse than having to keep cutting down. So I was thinking, take that one out a minute. Pop that in there. Pop that in there. So if it works, it should go one, two, pocket. Three, four, pocket, five, oh, flip out page. I need to straighten that out, don't I? Because that's just majorly wonky there. What happened there, Rachel? I don't know, but I need to tidy it up. Right, here we go. There we go. See, this is the time to craft. Notice, it's quiet. No Rosie. Nope, nope, nope. She's fast asleep. She's had her food, she's had her run around. She's happy now. She's happy now as all her friends are back in from their run. Oh, she's a scream. She really is. There we go. That's what I was kind of aiming for. And then last page. I'm not digging this bit here, but I really don't want to cut it off either. Perhaps if I just straighten that bit up there. It's that, that stray bit of pocket that's folding out that's annoying me. 
Or maybe I can do something interesting with it afterwards. But I just think it would be a shame to waste the end of the page, wouldn't it? So, what I thought we'd do with this one... Anyway, getting completely back on topic now. Ooh, off my sticky desk. Is we're going to put a little signature in this one. We are going to make a little note of it. So, here's my binding kit. I'm going to do this bit first because... Oh, look at this mess in here. These are all my ends, but I keep these ends for these little projects because they're usually just enough to stitch a notebook, you see. So these are the ones that very often I'll, you know, what's what's left sometimes I cut off. Um, middle. Thank you. Don't think I will need my all for this. Oh, I'll see now I can thread this with my proper glasses on. Which incidentally are by the side of me in the case. I'm so lazy, I keep forgetting to put them on. Right, and then we will just. No, I will make a hole. It's just easy when you make a hole. There we go. Hopefully, it has come through on the joint. Yes, it has. Okay, so we're going to go down through here, Oop. and then up through here. Marvellous. So, excellent. Marvellous. Right, I'll put those back in my box. And the bridle. That's over there. Oh, sorry. On the bottom of my box, never mind, put it away so I don't lose it. It's my biggest fear losing that box. <laughs> like, no, I can't be losing my stuff to bind. Gotta be honest, I haven't used it a lot lately. I've been doing other things with binding, haven't I? So, oh, that's not very tight, Rach. See, have you ever noticed how it's easier to tighten a pamphlet stitch than it is just a simple? those short actually because we don't have any need for big bits of string hanging out do we no there we go so we've got ourselves a cutie little journal now and now we're definitely going to want to have um hmm now the question is do i put the closure through the pages or not because i'm wondering if the, i put string on the edge there is that going to pull out Hmm, but do I want to have a hole in it? I don't think it'll matter, will it? What to do, what to do? Didn't think that's through thoroughly, Rachel. Right, let's give it a go. Come on, if anybody's going to make a mistake, it needs to be me. Um, What shall I do with the front of this? Well, I think... Should we go one more flower? I don't think it's going to go. I really don't want to cover that beautiful house that we see. Let's put a bit of lace across the bottom. Yes, that will work. Always works, lace. Especially this shabby stuff. It's really cute. Needed an iron, but what the iron won't do, the oohoo will. Here we go. See, it's like a thing of snow along the floor, carpet of snow. Right, let's just pop that there. Okie dokie. And then. over there we have it oh no we don't want to cut that way and if any do you can you only cut from one side i can it's, the kids were laughing this afternoon because I went down to pick my youngest up from school and we live on a, a road. There's a school at the end of our road, a primary school, so you could imagine the carnage that's here at, like, half past three in the afternoon, um, especially when it's raining. So, very rainy day today. Came back... No, I'm not going to put that on there. I like it like that. Um, came back and... Cars everywhere. And um, we had to go and sit around the back it's ridiculous. We're going to sit in the back of our, where our house is. Um, 
about 20 minutes waiting for all the traffic to move so I could come forward and park at the house. Um, and I didn't even attempt to pull on the drive. And the boys were like, Mum, let me just pull on the drive. It's like, no car. And I said, I can't because I can't pull on the drive. I can't reverse on the drive from the left. I can only reverse in from the right. <laughs> Don't ask me why. It's just how it is. It's just the way my brain works. So like, nope, cannot do that. Nope, nope, nope. Now, do I just put that little bit of text there at the top, maybe? Should we try that? Here we go. Okay. Right, now let's give all of these a bit of bang in now and see how that goes. A little bit of glue, please. Let's put that away, put that away. Wash your tape back. Put these bits and pieces back in there. Oop. Um, okay. Uh, what am I looking for? There it is. This thing. So finish off we need to make some small holes here and here come on that's better and the same with this one Oh, I do like these flowers. I think they really add to it. And here. And then this one. Do I go through the paper or not? I don't know. No, I don't think I will. I'm going to chicken out. But I'm just going to hope now it doesn't break the vellum. So here goes nothing. Have I clipped the page there? I might have clipped one of them. I think it's okay. Oh, Shaw's still poorly with his man flu. Oh no, I do feel bad for him. He's, he's got my bad chest he has. Um, meaning cough, cough, coughing all day. <sighs> you know when you just know it's your fault? So you just like think, oh, just say nothing. Just keep getting him his medicine and hot drinks and some soup, love. <laughs> just think, oh, poor thing. It's completely my fault. But there we are. Such is life, eh? Which is ridiculous when you think he's the one that works in the hospital. Probably brings the germs home. But obviously not on this occasion. So, here we go. And I think Mum's coming down with Dad's cold. There's a lot going around at the minute. A lot. It's this blinking weather. We can't make his mind at what he's doing. And one minute it's warm and balmy, so you're turning the heating down. And then the next thing you know, it's tipping over rain, gales, and it's freezing cold, and the house has gone cold. So you've got to struggle then to kind of get the temperatures back up again. So I don't think that's helping. And everything's damp then, isn't it? With all this blooming rain. Ugh. Come on, we need summer now, don't we? See, enough with the wet winter. Let's have our summer. There we go. Ooh, that looks cute. I love it. Yes. Right. What do you think? Should we put some blue in this one? I think so. Now, as I said, I have got some pink here somewhere, but I've tidied it away. I'm not going to go hunting for it now, but I think the pink would look nice in that one. Oh, Nicky Nocky New again. Come along. I haven't got time for silly games. These guys are waiting. Need to see the finished article and see how much more nonsense I can talk in the next three and a half minutes. Isn't that right? You notice there'll be no horrific elements in this video today. I've just tried to keep it all nice and light. <laughs> I'll give you all nightmares. Dearie me. I sit there editing my videos <laughs> or reading your comments and I'm just sat on the end of the settee some evenings laughing out loud and... The other half sits there looking at me. He's like, are you for real? Are you all right, Nick? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's fine, Marie. Just... He said, and he said to me, the way, are you laughing at your own jokes? And I was like, no. Much. <laughs> just a little. I said, well, it was funny. I said, it just sounded daft, but it was funny. <laughs> I said, I would have laughed if I had listened to it. Ah, <laughs> oh, cute. Go that way, guys. Go that way. 
Right. Okay, so pink string was actually only in the drawer next to me. And I figured it was worth just having a look for it. Right, go on, you go. I do apologise for this being up a bit late this evening, guys. Like I say, I had intended to have it all done by lunchtime, but my day had other ideas, as per. And mine got you in the end, didn't we? Got you in the end. Here we go. And then a bit of string around there. Through there. Oh, yes. Definitely worth looking for that. That would have been criminal to put brown string through there. Lovely jubbly. I love it. So there we are. Bow's a bit long, maybe. So where's my one from earlier? There we go. So, what do you think, guys? I hope you've enjoyed my little spin on Roxy's weekly challenge. Um, and we'll have a go. So we've got the standard original kind of kind of original, but I've added a little bit of um, embossing paper to it. And then we've got this one here, which we've kind of gone off piece because I've printed on the vellum. Um, and then again, similar design, bit of stamping. Um, oh yeah, and I did this one, I forgot I'd done another one. And of course, then I got the one I did earlier on with the white, which incidentally has finally dried. So uh, that one was more near to um, Rachel's original uh, design. Oh my gosh, I've made five. I have been busy today, haven't I? I think they were lush. I love them. Imagine getting one of these as a happy meal with lots of little fussy cuts and stuff in. And then, of course, you've got your little journal then. And I love that too. Oh, we will be making these again. Yes, love them. I love doing different things with vellum. So you've got your kind of more vintagey looks and then you've got your kind of lovely kind of perhaps shabby looks or what have you. So yeah, have a go, guys. Um, don't forget to use the hashtag 100 Days Rab. Um, if you're having a go and crafting along, uh, I am trying to get around when I, I do keep searching on the um, hashtag to see if anybody's put videos, what have you, and trying to kind of give you some likes and comments and stuff and supporting your your uh, your makes. So uh, it's great to see everybody crafting along. Have a lovely evening and I will be back with you all tomorrow. Thanks for being here today. See you soon. Bye.